All right, guys, Georgia boy here. And you know it's going to be a bad day when you wake up and on every news channel and every radio station, they're all blaring the same message. It's a taco apocalypse! A taco apocalypse! A taco apocalypse! It's a taco apocalypse! It's a total taco apocalypse. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know what they were talking about. But it looks like the Lee liquid alox has finally hit the fan all right guys when you have a total taco apocalypse not only do you uh run out of tacos but the uh, power grids are down all the propane has vanished it's been used up uh, we stayed at at our house with all our supplies as long as we could but things got so bad uh, we decided we would uh, take off and hide out for a while, uh, we're at an undisclosed location deep in the North Georgia mountains. And uh, the ammo I've brought with me is, is getting low, so it's time to uh, replenish that. I brought everything I needed to reload with me uh, to cast, to reload, and uh, all of it. I just packed it up in a backpack. And so first, I got to get this fire going. So we're going to. Get the fire going here. And once we get a good uh, bed of coals going, we'll do some casting over a fire and probably some cooking too. So we'll be back in just a moment. All right guys, so we just uh, splitting this piece of firewood that we had uh, used for some target practice. We just split it down in it we found some bullets so we're gonna get some lead back all right guys one of the things you have to uh, deal with first when you have to take off and head to the hills is uh, especially if you're like me and you've got a family you, you need some uh, you need some adequate shelter for them and for the first couple of nights that's no big deal we had tarps and things in our backpacks but you know not knowing how long we were going to have to stay, how long this taco apocalypse was going to last, you know, I needed to start thinking about some more uh, permanent type shelter. And so, uh, luckily, before we had to leave, while we still had power and Wi-Fi, I was able to catch a couple of Kyle Lusk's uh, bushcrafting videos. They really helped me out. And so I was able to, you know, provide my family with some adequate housing using nothing but my marbles knife and my and my axe. So I'll I'll roll in a little footage there of what I got got built for them and, and then I'll be back. Alright guys, we got a pretty good bed of coals going now finally. And so uh, might as well make use of this fire. I'm gonna do a little cooking on my Dutch oven. Start getting some coals out. camp dutch oven with the feet that keeps the pot up off the coals it keeps it from smothering them and then we put in the spigot the pan and then the other day we shot our last wild hog Got us a good, we're down to our last Boston Buck pork roast. Now one thing when you have to bug out that you want in your sack is some Bad Byron's butt rub. You'll be miserable without it. So you want to give her a good coating with that all over. Plenty on there. All right. Put the lid on. You want to try to just get cold. You don't want ash. Ash actually works as an insulator. It won't get very hot. So 
That'll work right there. We'll have that cooking. We'll get up some more coals. We'll be back in a little bit to do some casting. So when it's time to cast, you don't want to cast on the fire that you've built to make all the coals to run your Dutch oven and all like that. You want to take a few shovelfuls of coal out to the side, start a smaller fire uh, away uh, from the big fire. That way you're not dealing with all that heat then pull your wood back off of uh, some coals there. Put your lead pot in there and uh, start melting your lead. And then when your lead is melted, even come off of the small fire with just one shovel full of coals, pull your lead pot out and put it on that. That way you ain't dealing with all this heat. So I'm gonna let that melt and then we'll be back in just a second. All right, so now my lead is starting to melt. It's, it's getting close to warm my mold. I've just pulled some rocks up here, put a shovel of hot coals in them. I'm going to lay that old uh, skillet over them. I'm going to put my mold right there on it, sprue plate down to be warming my mold up and so by the time my lead is melted I should be pretty close to casting all right so it looks like I've got my lead melted good now Sprue harden up. Okay, you look at those. Battery's about dead, but that's what I got. That's what they look like on the inside. Looks like good bullets to me. So we'll cast up some more. We'll come back and be ready to lube. All right, so we're ready to lube. Now, these are the 240 grain semi-wad cutter tumble lube bullets from Lee. I chose this bullet for this situation because uh, they don't require sizing. I can just lube them and load them. Uh, out here in the woods like we are, you know, uh, the method I've chosen to use is 45, 45, 10, with just Lee liquid Alox, a little touch of Johnson floor wax, some mineral spirits, and then shake them up and let them, let them dry. Now, back in the old days, they'd use bear grease. Bear grease to lube their bullets. Pig grease would probably work. Just something you could pack with your thumb and fill in the lube grooves, cover the bullet. But this is the easiest way you could essentially powder coat even in a Dutch oven, I guess. I don't want to ruin mine, but you could probably drop a few rocks in the bottom and set your wire basket and bullets right in there and just keep an eye on it. But this is the way I've chose to do it. And so we will let those dry. I'm roasting. I'm going to go change clothes and then we're going to come back and check on that pork roast. All right. Oh, yeah. And you can reach right there and pull that bone out. She's done. Oh, the knife just goes right through it. Well, it's time to pull this out, let it cool chop it, put the barbecue sauce to it, slap it in between two pieces of bread, and feast like a king. Once we get supper done, next we'll load up some bullets. All right, guys, so we let our uh, bullets 
dry overnight. And this is my bench. This is my loader, the Lee Classic loader, using this out here in the woods. Bell the case mouth. down a primer good give her a shot of powder Prep the bullet. And there she is. Cast in the woods, reloaded in the woods. Going to be shooting this through the Rossi 92 44 mag. All right, guys. Rossi 92 44 mag. About 15 yards. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, wait a minute. I know that guy. Taco. Okay. 